All right, we are now on episode five of Archbang Boot Camp, and we are going to upgrade our system. We're going to do that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Welcome to part five of the Archbang Boot Camp. And today we are actually going to perform a system update on our system that we have installed into VirtualBox. Now, before I begin, I would like to welcome all of my new subscribers. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to send me a private message and I will answer you as quickly as I can. Also, you guys' feedback has been overwhelming. I'm so glad that uh, you guys are, are really uh, enjoying this Archbang Boot Camp series as much as I'm pleased to bring this to you. Uh, keep your comments and suggestions coming in. I'm really enjoying all of the feedback. You guys are the best and you know it. Okay, now let's proceed. First, what we need to do, you to do is I need you on the main Arch Linux page. That is archlinux.org. Okay, and I need you to click on the unofficial beginner's guide. And then we're going to scroll down and we are going to select article number 417. Update the system. And this is our commands that we are going to issue. Now, we're actually, all of the points before this before section 4 you actually would be performing if you were to have installed Arch Linux but no we installed ArchBank so this is where we're going to start this gives you this tells you the command that we're going to be issuing or you could actually issue the command like this let me zoom in on this for you for those of you who are not watching in high def the command we will be issuing is pacman hyphen okay another way of issuing that same command is pacman hyphen hyphen sync hyphen hyphen refresh hyphen hyphen sys upgrade that's exactly what that means sync refresh and upgrade let's go into our virtual installation Okay, let's open up our terminal. We're going to right click on the desktop and we are going to select Applications, System Tools, and RxVT Unicode. Now, something I, I always like navigating the menus, but silly me, if we look right over here, Super T opens up the terminal. Uh, I'm dumb. <laughs> okay, now in order to issue that command, obviously we need to be root. So that is sudo su. Now, actually, in Arch, you have to install sudo in order to do a sudo. Pretty weird, huh? I know. Strange. Okay, here we are. So let's issue that command Pac Man hyphen capital S lowercase y lowercase u it is now going to go into core it's going to go into extra and it's going to go into community okay and it's saying do we want to upgrade Pac-Man yes we do want to upgrade Pac-Man. 
it is now going to resolve dependencies. Okay, we will say yes. This is completed, but now we have a warning. It says, warning, Etsy Pac-Man configuration installed as Etsy Pac-Man dot configuration dot pack new. Okay, it says run Pac-Man key hyphen hyphen init to set up your Pac-Man key ring. I could not get this to work. Also, the key signing um, has caused a lot of problems for people. So I'm going to show you how I fix that. But I'm going to do this graphically. So we're going to right click on the desktop, select places, and then browse here. PC Man FM is your file manager on this operating system and we are going to go into tools open current folder as root if you use the guided installation as I did you will notice you have three hard drive partitions with which to choose from SDA 1 is your boot partition SDA4 is your home partition and SDA3 which is listed here is your root partition. Click on SDA3. Let's go into Etsy. We're going to go into Pac-Man D. No, I'm sorry, not Pac-Man D. My bad. I think it's actually in here. Yes, it is. Okay, we have pacman.conf or config. That's what I've been calling it lately. I'm going to right click on this and select rename. I am going to call this pacman.conf.backup. There is a command line way for doing this, but I want to show you my graphical way of doing things. I'm trying to get out of that habit, but I just want to make this easier for you guys to understand. Then I'm going to go ahead and rename this one from pacman.config to pack new to, we're going to just take the dot pack new off the end. Okay. Now, we can have a look at it. CD. Well, actually, we can just go nano. nano. Etsy. Pacman. Dot C-O-N-F. Now, let's have a look and see what we got here. going to scroll down here a little bit. We have now the you will see here that we have signature levels commented out on this. This is what you want. Core is commented out and include is commented out. Extra is commented out and so is include. The same with community. I do not recommend uncommenting out the testing. The reason being is these packages aren't stable and you could possibly break something by installing them. Now, if you are running the 64-bit system, you will need to uncomment out multilib and the include line beneath it. This is so that you can download 32-bit packages so that you can run 32-bit applications on your operating system. Now that we have that taken care of, 
we can press Control X to exit, Y for yes, and enter. We are done with that part now. Now, whenever you update the Pac-Man configuration file, you're going to want to update it. And that's normally done with Pac-Man capital S, lowercase y, lowercase y. But since we're doing an upgrade, it will automatically do that when we issue our command here, Pac-Man hyphen SYU. To get that to come up, I just hit the up arrow key because what because you have commands that you previously typed into your terminal stored in the bash history so that you don't have to type that in again okay so we're going to run pacman hyphen capital s lowercase y lowercase u you will see now that it has updated the multi-lib library it's going to ask to replace module init tools with core K mod. Yes, you do. Press Y and enter. It wants to download 191.68 megs, and it's going to uh, when it's um, when it's uh, all said and done, you're going to have a uh, 13. 0.61 megabyte increase so literally everything is being updated on this system I'm gonna press yes to proceed with the installation and it is going to download these files and now after all the packages have downloaded you're presented with this lovely message telling you Error, failed to commit transaction, conflicting files, file system, Et Etsy, mtab exists in file system, errors occurred, no packages were upgraded. What the schliznitz is this? This is how you fix it. All you just have to do is type in rm forward slash Etsy. No, that's not how you fix it. My bad. What you're going to do is this instead. I forgot all about that. Pac-Man hyphen capital S file system hyphen hyphen force. This was actually on the Archbang website, and I can't remember where I found it. Let me give you that one again. I forgot. Removing Etsy mtab doesn't do anything. So let me show you that command again. That is Pac-Man hyphen S file system hyphen hyphen force pacman hyphen capital s file system hyphen hyphen force and now it's going to update that now we will repeat our last command, but this time it doesn't have to download the files. It's like they're already downloaded. So now we will run Pac-Man SYU. I just pressed the up arrow key. Yes, we're going to replace module init tools with cool core K mod. Yeah. Okay. Yes. It's now checking the integrity of the packages. And we'll wait for all of this to proceed. 
Okay, now all of the updates have been completed, and believe it or not, you had a kernel upgrade. That means you need to re reboot the computer. After a successful install and you reboot, you are greeted with the Slim Login Manager. Now, Slim is outdated and no longer maintained, but I actually like this, and this was actually recommended by some of my friends on uh, the distro watch community where I chat live okay so um, what we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to theme this a little bit differently all right so let's go ahead and log in And you will now see that we're running Linux kernel 3.2.1-2. So we are running Bleeding Edge, and you have the latest and greatest open box running right now. This is the latest version, and all of the software and everything has been updated on this for you. If you thought this tutorial was useful, please comment, like, and subscribe. Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus are ways you can find out every time I'm uploading a new video, so you can go ahead and add me there. I'd like to thank you for watching. I've got a lot more headed your way.